Hi, this is Phil Hinton for AV Forums TV, and this is our quick video summary of the new Panasonic PTA4000 LCD projector. The design of the unit has not changed from the previous models, and in our opinion, still looks like a black brick of a box without any design flair. But at the same time, it's functional and easy to set up. The lens used can be considered as high quality and the exhaust ports are again positioned to the front of the unit. The top section of the body houses the lens shift wheels for aligning the lens to the screen, but zoom and focus are remote controlled. The first main new feature of the projector is the newly engineered red rich lamp, which is said to enhance the red energy spectrum of the light output to provide a brighter calibrated image when compared to normal UHP lamps. The latest remote control is a small yet fully featured unit that allows access to most of the major inputs and picture controls along with a backlight for using in your darkened cinema room. Entering the main menu system and again the PTAE4000 is fully featured with enough control over the picture and setup to allow for excellent calibrated images. It also allows features like the dynamic iris to be selected or switched off. Moving to the advanced menu and we come to the latest new calibration feature which is a full gamma editor tool that we can select RGB or white points from 0 to 90% for fine tuning of the gamma and grayscale calibration. There are also the usual 2 point grayscale white balance controls and also new this year is an RGB YCM 3D colour management tool. Although we do not like the box layout and suggest that you use a workaround approach to calibrate the colour points, the system does eventually work very well. The final new feature we want to cover here is the lens memory function and its auto settings. With this control you select the 235 to 1 or 16x9 image inputs and when you switch between 16x9 and scope material, the projector automatically applies the memory zoom and focus tools to adjust the image. Moving to the measured performance of the projector and the Color 1 preset offers the closest performance to industry standards for TV and film reproduction with very little in the way of image errors and is a preset out of the box that most users could use to get fairly close to accurate images. But this is improved greatly with a full ISF calibration where the errors for grayscale and color points are below 1 delta E in most respects and can be classed as reference level in terms of watching material as it's supposed to be seen. In terms of picture quality, using the preset color one with just the front panel control set for the room, screen and source, the PTAE4000 offers a very impressive image which looks extremely natural and very accurate. The black levels are an improvement over the outgoing projector without the need for the dynamic iris to be called upon. Dynamic range is also very good with a nice depth to the image and plenty of shadow detail on show. Calibrated settings adds in a slight improvement again to finer shadow detailing on faces with a natural skin tone. In both modes colours look natural and realistic with a performance that matches the mastered material. The Panasonic is going to be up against some tough competition at its price point but it will compete with a strong image quality and a picture that looks very cinematic. Overall, I'm struggling to find any real niggles with the PTAE4000 images or price point and it scores a highly recommended badge. You can read our full and in-depth review of the Panasonic PTAE4000 and other home cinema displays at avforums.com forward slash reviews. Thanks for watching.